Hello, welcome. Oh, God. Hello, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I did say in a previous video that I was going to add these sales into a video that I'm currently editing now. I'm going to try and put these out in order, but I've just realized there's actually enough here to make a dedicated video of weekend sales. So that's what I'm going to do for you. And some of them have sold the same day that I've listed them, depending on what day you've seen the video. If I've got any brain, I would have done this in chronological order. I know I would have done. I know I would have done. I believe in myself. So we've got a few from Vinted and a few from eBay. Let's just crack straight on with it. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. Vinted, £4.99 for this Transformer. I picked up a massive bundle for a fiver. I've sold probably 40, 50 quid's worth now, and I've still probably got 40, 50 quid's worth listed. This was just in there. Five quid on Vinted. If I remember rightly, it's quite an easy one to do. I can't do Transformers. You bend him down like that, push this in there like that, and push his tail like that, and he becomes a dinosaur. Obviously, you've got to put his head together. For £15, I paid £5 for these Nike Tiempos, had them outside for ages, drying off or airing off because they had a bit of a smell to them. Put them in the washing machine after. I know, bad vibes, but I did it. Paid £5 for these, sold them for £15. I had so many lowball offers, I was just like, go away, they're cheap enough. They're in immaculate condition. There is a few marks and stuff from wear still. If you look really closely, a bit of mud there, which the washing machine couldn't get off. No, in fact, I'm lying. These ones didn't go in the washing machines. These ones had a rub down. These were rub down ones. A washing machines and other ones still sacrilege 15 pounds stop waffling this was 30 pence although i think i just gave him 50p said keep the change the old holborn tobacco wallet when i was a child my mother used to smoke this and i said nick it out of there plus golden virginia and what was the other one drum half schwa shag horrible tobacco but when you're nicking it you can't be ungrateful can you this was just a nice little flashback tempted to keep it for myself if it was a little bit bigger i probably would have done 30 pence paid, 50 pence paid really, £9.99 sold on Vinted. Massive, massive, massive shout out to Lee now. Lee reached out and said they watch the channel, they get information, they get entertainment and they're really, really grateful. They've been watching the channel for a while now and they sent me an offer for £30 on £16 worth of stuff. At the time, I was actually in the queue waiting for my second car boot sale, read the message, very lovely, very heartwarming. And I was very appreciative, but I did say I can't accept that £30. I really appreciate it, but I can't. So I counted back with, so the original bundle came to £16.25. I counted back with £15. Lee counted back with 20 I said, I appreciate you're trying to say thank you. So in order to not be rude, I'm going to accept your gesture of £20. So about three and a half quid more than the actual value that I had things listed for. But to send me an offer of £30 to say thank you on items which were about 15, 16 quid is really lovely. So I do appreciate that. And that consisted of the two TY Beanie Babies from 1996, I think they are. You've got a hippo with a tag on and a bear with a leopard print hat. A little bunny bear, I can't remember the brand now, what is it? Bruin, that's it. The vintage stuff of that stuff goes really well. Tweety Pie, a Welland cap and a little ikea heart plush which i've got to try and find so really appreciate this lee i don't want to give out any information that i shouldn't but i think your instagram is also the same as your vintage which is how's the pizza and the pizza's always good you can't go wrong with pizza so if so i haven't checked you did tell me you messaged me on instagram so i'm assuming that it might be the same go over and check it out thank you so much lee appreciate it and that's all for vintage ebay now Big, big thank you to Luke. He picked up the Admiral Nodding Dog. Oh, yes. Luke, massively appreciate this, mate. Paid £2, I think, or £3. He's picked it up for £15.19 all in. Luke, you the man. You're actually the man. Pikmin Amiibo from the massive Amiibo bundle that I picked up at the weekend. Oh, my God, that was hard to say. About 10 times that took me. They all owe me a pound each. This one has sold for £12 all in. One of the Pally Toys, the Pocketeers. This one is the big hit, the one that I said I couldn't find much on. So I thought I'll list it for 50. I've got an offer of 30, I think. I counted at 40 or 35, counted at 40, and they accepted. So this one has sold for 40 pound. It's probably going to be a massively rare one that's worth 100, but I don't care. I paid five pound for a whole box of stuff. I'm not sure if you've seen that video yet. Yes, you have. Yes, you have actually. Listed and sold on the same day, 40 pound. And from that same box is the Barry Sheen. When I was going through it, I was quite surprised. And, oh, I've sold this about seven times over before. Listed and sold the same day, £25. So, so far out of that box already, I've had 65 quid worth of sales. And I've not even listed half of it. 
and half of it is still listed. I'm sure those percentages are very, very wrong. Tekken player cards bundle. I've got nine packets of these. I paid, this was from that deal where I bought the Jaguar, the Nez and all that kind of stuff. I spent a hundred and something pound with him. Made wads of cash in profit so far. So everything I sell from that now is pure profit. £13.49 for one packet. I've got eight left. Sims Castaway for the PSP has sold for £8.49. This was thrown in when I bought two PlayStation games. I need to reach out to you, matey. Can't remember your name now, but you've messaged me on Instagram and you want to buy the Scooby one. I'm going to sell it to you. I just keep forgetting to get back to you. I need to check the condition of the disc. I keep forgetting to do it. I will get back to you. But yeah, £8.49. Little monkey, little monkey. This is by a brand called Sun Arrow. There we go, Sun Arrow. Actually is from the year of the legends, not in 87. Get up there. Going overseas, sold for £13. Sun Arrow Monkeys, look out for them. They come in so many different styles. Construction workers, whatever, whatever, whatever. Look out for them. They look just like that. Fast and Furious for the PlayStation Portable UMD Sealed. Sold for £5 all in. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle has actually sold now. Really, really sad to see it go. I was going to keep it for if we went to the gym, but I just know that I'm going to mess up. So what I am going to look for is a vintage water bottle with a push squirty one i don't want to be sitting there you know just getting yourself off the dumbbells whoop 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 one second no so i'm going to find a nice if i can find it in hot pink as well with a little sports cup anyway paid a pound i put it on instagram alice didn't show no interest which is fine i forgot to tag him to be fair but somebody else tagged him instead so for 23 pound and 74 pence all in listed and sold the same day Massive thank you to Angela. She saw the video and ran to eBay. And because I'd already been very proactive and listed stuff from the video that I put up on that day, it was up and ready to buy. Had this listed for 20 or 25, I can't remember. Just wanted to move it on. Angela sent me an offer of 16 pound. Said, oh, I hope it's not too cheeky. No offer's ever cheeky. If it's too below any margin that I'm willing to accept, I will just decline. But nine times out of 10, if you're a subscriber and you send me a note first, I'll probably accept. But also when you do make the payment, Try and leave a note as well or a message so when it comes to me doing the orders, I actually know who it's from. Because if there's no note at the time of placing the order for the postage label, I'll probably forget. On this occasion, I'll never. Angela, really appreciate it. Lovely. Thank you so much. On its way to you shortly. Very, very cool. Paid £2. Don't know if I said. £3 paid. Had to clean them all up. Like Converse studded. They are worth a hell of a lot more than what I accepted. I had them listed for £59.99. Someone sent me an offer of £36. I clicked accept and then realised, well, that was a massive, massive production, but I don't care. Very happy with the sale. Nice. Echo Plus One first generation, no charging lead. I did use my charging lead for my other one to check to see if it works, and it does. It sold as is with no charger, £15. I've got a few more to list of these. The last of the phone bundle that I picked up, this is the BT Response 120, owes me £5. I sold one for 50, one for 60, and then this one, someone just sent me a message. Have a look at that in a minute. Had to leave my notifications on because of the phone call. Don't even know if the phone call was this video or the other one. Regardless, who cares? £24 it sold for. So I spent 20 quid. I've made probably £180 in profit. The Logitech laser pointer, I've packed it. He's asked me to ship it on Tuesday, so I've been holding out for him. I think I've showed you in a previous video, 17 99 And Carlton backgammon set paid, or oh, I don't know, not a lot for this, to be honest. Had it listed for 30, got an offer of 16, I think. They counted at 25, they counted at 20, I accepted. Beautiful. And I've got two things down there that I can't get to yet because my weekend stock is just blocking the boxes. They're not exciting. You've got a Dell laptop charger for £9.49. I think it was 20p from a car boot sale. You saw me pick it up and I said, it's going to be worth at least a tenner. And a... Toshiba TV remote control for £5.69. It all adds up. And unless I am missing anything at all, they are the weekend sales. Today is Monday. It is 11.35. I've recorded two videos, which is the haul video for the first Sunday car boot video and the haul video for the second Sunday car boot video and this one. So this is the third video I've recorded before 11.36 because it's 11.35. So I've now got to pack all this up and get this shipped off and then start taking photos of some more stuff. I have taken photos of some more stuff this morning already. I've done a little bit of photographing. So I've actually been quite productive, if I'm honest, actually. 
Before we go anywhere, big shout out to Harry, John Luke and Charlotte's little that they own and work to the bone. Harry keeps that business absolutely running. He left me this little note when I purchased something. Ricky is the goat with that perfect, perfect little goat. Look at that. How good is that? <laughs> On that note, I'll catch you in a bit. Take care. See you later. Love you all. Bye. Goats. Goats do.